Moore Corporation will be conducting a liquidation of industrial machinery, plant, fixtures, furniture, and any other assets at the Sumatac Magnetics Company Incorporated facility in Bargetown, Kentucky. This liquidation is taking place in the fall of the year 2000. All of the equipment will be sold off of site at the Kentucky location. The equipment presented in this film includes the attritters now in view, including one manufactured by Union Process and the rest by their Japanese licensee. And as we go through this video, we're attempting to show you the type of assets that will be in this sale. There will be a specific uh, list of the equipment to be sold available in the weeks ahead as we complete the lotting of all of the items to be sold in preparation for this liquidation, which must be concluded before the end of the year 2000. The equipment now in view is part of the equipment used for feeding the ferrite slip material into the powder compacting presses. They're wet presses manufactured either by Mori in Japan or by Alpha Press Company in New Jersey. We're assuming that the people viewing this videotape are familiar with the wet press process. Keep your still button handy in case there's a part of any of this video that you want to examine more carefully. You might even keep the time of the tape handy so that we can look at the same video if there's some specific item where you need clarification where us both viewing this together will be helpful to you. The preparation of this videotape was made rather hurriedly. We're not showing all of the equipment that's going to be in this sale, but the primary pieces of equipment. The tape will run for approximately 17 or 18 minutes. The views that you're now getting of the Alpha presses to be followed by those of the Mori presses show them just the way they will be purchased. The buyer is responsible for removal of all of the items being sold and Moore Corporation will assist you by coordinating the activity with a local rigger to see that the equipment is removed in the manner that you want it removed and loaded for containerization or truck shipment to wherever the next site of installation will be. The coils and anything related to the tooling has been removed and is not a part of the sale of the presses. To the knowledge of Moore Corporation, all of this equipment was completely functional at the time that it was discontinued from service, which occurred uh, during the month of September in the year 2000. To the extent that any operating manuals, drawings, reference material of any kind for these presses is available, it will be provided with a specific machine to which it applies. The same applies to spare parts. These are being taken from the storage crib for spare parts and being put next to each of the machines. This was a die setup press manufactured by Mori in Japan. It was used for doing the tool setup for the presses. The sale will take place as a public auction. The date has not yet been set, but it will be during the late part of November or early part of December into the year 2000. This is a view of one of the two Eisenman tunnel kilns. This is the bigger of the two. This is the shorter one. These are electrically operated tunnel kilns. They did not use atmosphere.
conveyor system for these kilns was removed and is located separately in the facility. These are the controls for the shorter of the two Eisenman kilns. This is that kiln. This is the power supply for the larger of the Eisenman kilns. And these are the controls. All of this equipment can be easily removed from this facility. You'll see later on that this is a very modern facility when there are overview photographs of the inside of it. And you'll see that it's very easy to get any equipment out of the facility for any form of loading that meets your requirements. There are a lot of general purpose uh, types of machinery and equipment, furniture and fixtures that will also be a part of this sale. Forklift trucks, pallet trucks. There are lots of conveyors, air compressors, maintenance equipment. Uh, this is one of the comic uh, grinders Comec equipment is uh, very much in demand. To our knowledge, this equipment is in very good working order. There are a number of the ultrasonic degreasers as well and loading mechanisms. These are complete systems. This is a horizontal grinder, and we make the assumption that people viewing this tape are familiar with this equipment so that what they're seeing in the tape is familiar to them. On-site inspection is uh, very definitely recommended. You can make arrangements for inspection of this equipment by prior arrangements with Moore Corporation, and we'll be giving you the address of our company located in Michigan at the end of the video. pallet racking, this is some of the general purpose roller conveyor. Uh, you are encouraged to contact Moore Corporation to be certain that your name is on a list to receive the brochures so that you're aware of things like these air pumps, these are diaphragm type pumps used for fluid. Uh, movement and uh, these are assembly or inspection tables. They're motorized uh, tables of which there are several that will be in this sale. But you should check with Moore Corporation to make certain that the proper people at your organization do receive the notices about the sale date and time of day of the sale, the um, inspection dates, the arrangements required to be a bidder, uh, how to pay for the equipment, and uh, the requirements for removal. Everything in this facility must be out of the facility and shipped before the middle of December in this year. Everything that you're seeing is subject to being a part of this sale.
This is a wrapping machine for shrimp, shrink wrapping uh, your shipments. There is quite a bit of material handling equipment that will be in this cell. Uh, air compressors by Sol Air and air dryers. These Kaiser uh, dryers and air compressors will be very good buys and these are the tanks, the air compressed air reserve tanks. There are a lot of spare and maintenance parts that will be in the sale, and many of the items that you're viewing right now will be removed and put next to the appropriate machines. Again, we're showing some of the material handling equipment, acetylene and torch outfit, uh, this is an in-plant office that may be in the sale. We're awaiting confirmation at the time that this tape is being made uh, to get approval to sell the entire assembly, including the platform and the modular office. This is a picture of the inside of the office. This, too, is very easily dismantled, transported, and reassembled. flat drawing files, uh, copy machines, fax machines, uh, and other general office furniture and equipment that will be sold in this set. Uh, brand new spare parts. Uh, these are uh, Kinney pumps and blowers. More air pumps. This is an overview of part of the manufacturing facility. At the time that this videotape was made, the preparations for arranging the site for the sale have not yet begun. So the final arrangement will look differently on the day of the sale. These are two very new, recently installed air conditioning systems. There is equipment in this facility which will be used for and is used for solvent recovery or sludge recovery, uh, water purification, and uh, for other purposes that deal with environmental matters related to a facility of this type. This is a 100 ton Mori hydraulic press. It's a fully automatic wet press. The coils and tooling that you see in the press at the moment may be removed. And again, they may be in the press at the time of sale. The power supply for the coils was shown at the beginning of this view. And here you're getting a view of the very complete hydraulic system. And this is the uh, slurry or holding tank with agitator for uh, feeding of the material. This horizontal grinder was used as a dicer or slicer. This is a jar mill with mill jars on top of the rollers. Because of the fluorescent lighting, uh, the views in this laboratory will all have a green tint to them. But be assured that all of the equipment here is very late model and in excellent condition. A complete list of all of the laboratory equipment is available by fax from Moore Corporation. 
and this entire list will be posted on a website in the days ahead. During the date of the sale, which will take place on site in Bardstown, all bids will be taken from the premises, so it is necessary to be in attendance or to have had a bid submitted in writing to Moore Corporation in advance of the sale, and Moore Corporation will act, act in proxy for you to exercise your bid. There are procedures related to the proxy bidding that you're encouraged to check with Moore Corporation about so that you don't miss out on the opportunity to bid on the equipment that suits your needs. This is a public sale and everyone is invited, but there are terms and conditions of the bidding process that must be complied with in order to get a bidder number. Every item is sold on an as-is basis in place called where-is in the terms of the liquidation industry. You're encouraged to uh, visit the site prior to the auction date. We want you to be able to speak to people familiar with the use of this equipment and its prior use at this facility wherever possible so that you know the characteristics of it and its general history. a cooling tower that will be sold. The two tanks in front of you right now are part of a, a sludge recovery system. Anyone now in the ferrite business would be well advised to visit and to inspect the sludge recovery systems which are very modern in this facility and to be prepared to make a bid on those that apply to your facility. We look forward to seeing you in Bardstown, Kentucky in the weeks ahead. Check with Moore Corporation for the dates of the sale and put this into your schedule for business before the end of the year.